Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be getting started here on episode 2. This is going to be a fairly quick episode, I'm just going to be showing you guys how, to, how you guys can use uh, Minecraft Dev for IntelliJ. It is a really, really awesome plugin that um, has been developed for IntelliJ which makes spigot coding, you know, much, much easier. And I believe you can you can really do a lot of things. Like you can do uh, bucket, spigot, paper, sponge, forge, light loader, bungee cord. Um, it's a really, really extensive option. And it just makes things a lot, a lot, a lot easier. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to this website called minecraftdev.org. And it's pretty easy. It tells you exactly how to get started. So we can just go right to the home page here, click install, and it says uh, it's currently in the alpha stages, but um, I've heard really good things about it. But I've actually used it a couple times. Um, so we're just going to go to IntelliJ plugins and then we're going to browse repositories. So we can go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and get into full screen mode here so you guys can see. Okay, so now that we have our plugins open here, and I don't actually know quite where plugins live. So I actually just went ahead and went up to help find and then plugins. Pretty easy. You can do it whatever way you want to. So now we're going to go ahead and search for, oh, we got to go browse repositories. And now we're going to go ahead and say Minecraft development. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and click install. Just accept. It's just telling us that we're using third party and that there's our privacy policies and whatnot for those third party plugins. So let's restart IntelliJ. Also, don't mind the fact that I think in probably every episode I've had a different background. I'm like super, super like indecisive when it comes to computer backgrounds because like one minute I'll like it and the next I'll be working on something and I'm like, oh God, that's too bright. Like, just don't worry about it. Cool. So you can see here that this is already recognized that this is a spigot project. So what we can go do now is we can go make a fresh one though. So let's go ahead and say new. And we're gonna go module and we're gonna go down here to Minecraft and uh, you can see here that we have all of these options and we're gonna go ahead and choose spigot now we might not be able to use 1.3 with this particular method just because um, like I said before it's it's in development still it's a, it's a development build so it's not a completely stable build um, this actually has a lot more in here than what I just mentioned. So this actually has now Waterfall, Canary, and Neptune, which I have never used either of these three. Uh, I've used Paper, I've used Sponge, but I have not used these three. Well, I really haven't used Light Loader either, but that's besides the point. So we're going to click Spigot, Next, and Group ID. These are all things that you can name however you want. Uh, there is like a certain way that you should be naming this because it is using Maven. So your group ID will, is going to identify really your project throughout all of your different projects. So you probably want to name in a way that is good. So we can go ahead and say com TSC forum MC dev. Then your artifact ID is the name that your jar file is going to end up being, right? So ours will just be, we'll just say MC Dev, just because that's what we're using. Cool. And now you can see here that you don't have to use Maven, you can use Gradle. Uh, it's really whatever one you prefer. Or maybe you're using, you're going to be using a certain plugin or an API and maybe they only offer Maven or maybe they only offer Gradle. Or they might even only offer a jar, but just choose which one works best for you. So our plugin name is MC Dev. Our version is 1.0 Snapshot. Again, you can change this to whatever you want. Minecraft version is actually letting us do uh, 1.3, so that's pretty awesome. Let me just zoom back in here so you guys can see this better. Uh, so it is letting us do 1.3. Uh, the description, we can say a plugin using MC Dev for IntelliJ. Authors is my name, my website. I don't know, uh, we'll put www.tscforum.com. Sometimes there's those, those weird things where like if you don't put www or you don't put HTTPS, you know, whatever. Go ahead and click next. Module name, we can go ahead and say episode two. Uh, for some reason, my thing likes to do this where it doesn't update um, these unless I type in this spot. So we'll go ahead and click finish. And 
and you can see there that uh, we'll go ahead and do enable auto import I think that's probably the best uh, unless you're making changes quite often to your um, pom.xml you should probably always just um, do auto import but you can see here now that it has set up our default project with our on enable and our on disable so come back into the next episode and I'll be showing you guys how you guys can start using your plugin uh, with IntelliJ Debugger and you know working from there actually building out your first project and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching going forward we will be using MC Dev just because I think it is the easiest way to use Maven and to um, build your plugin with spigot or paper or sponge or whatever you're going to be using so going forward we will be using uh, MC Dev uh, it's wonderful it's a great tool and yeah so I will see you guys next time thanks for watching